Hello out there. And this is a uh, continuation series from our last part where we have explained about the SSTI remote code execution. So you have not, if you have not seen it or watched it, I'll recommend you to go and watch that video as well because that will be a very much helpful and you know will be of great help to take the further uh, you know input from this particular video as well. Now uh, I'll basically defining the uh, command injection in this particular series and what is the command injection? The command injection, the OS level command injection is a kind of web security vulnerability that basically allows an attacker to execute the OS level command or system level command on the server and which is running that vulnerable application. Now if you closely watch the anatomy of the uh, command injection then you can see that uh, the whenever uh, the application accepts the input from the user then basically some of the predefined command which has already been given by the developer it uh, intends to execute those only and present the uh, relevant output to the user. But since the input is not properly sanitized in that case what uh, the attacker can do he can uh, inject their arbitrary commands or like, uh, uh, during the processing and that processing may uh, give a uh, privilege escalation to the UI attacker and uh, uh, can give the hold of application vulnerable application to the attacker. Okay, and that basically the scenario that attacker wants uh, for his favor, not from the uh, not from the view of uh, you know uh, the intended view from a developer. Now there are different kind of command injection methods which I have listed uh, right before you, and there are five basically uh, defined or actually I have experimented or I have found so far in my pen test career. And for, first is the arbitrary command injection. Second is the command injection which basically you know appears whenever there is an file uploading feature is there and which is not uh, securely uh, configured then attacker may execute the system level commands at the same time there are insecure uh, serialization or uh, uh, sometimes the application basically you know packs the data and unpacks the data at the server side if this packing and un unpacking of data is uh, not securely defined then attacker may also use the uh, you know uh, use this scenario to uh, escalate their privileges the fourth one is the SSTI which I have already uh, given you a demonstration in my last video and uh, there are certain uh, use cases that I need to show but uh, yes uh, so far we have presented two and that I think for the, from that you can re yeah, easily make out that uh, what could be uh, the level of you know exploitation that can be happen. And the fifth one is the XML entity, uh, external entity injection. Uh, it basically applies to the applications uh, where uh, you find that application try to process the XML based data. And if this XML based data is injected by the attacker, then also we can uh, have this kind of, uh, you know, command level injections. Now, uh, in this particular video, I'll be mostly focusing on uh, point number one, that is the arbitrary command injection. An arbitrary command injection you will basically found in the application where there is some already system level command is used by the developer. Now you must be wondering when the you know when the thing is so dangerous then why it is implemented at the first hand only uh, by the developer. Actually there are lots of applications that use mixed of languages uh, like suppose uh, the front end is the web but the back end could be any python or the executable file. Uh, suppose uh, you are uh, dealing with some you know image resizing applications which try to resize the image as soon as the user uploads to a certain values. So they may use some you know uh, executable file created in uh, um, you know uh, C or other languages. So this kind of integration uh, you basically find where you know application try to use some arbitrary level commands. Some network level utility uh, website where you just try to ping about a particular host or trace route the network in that, in that case also you'll be finding that uh, the developer try to use some system level command which help them to facilitate the needs of user. Uh, for, however, I'm not going to you know uh, use any of those applications. I'll be defining my own application again and this time I'll be using again PHP and uh, PHP to demonstrate you a, a, a arbitrary command injection scenario. And this is a, a basically a uh, you know if you uh, see the application then it is a movie review application basically and there are uh, different kind of text file I have kept at the back about the movie reviews and as soon as users select a uh, uh, movie uh, you know movie 
and it will present the uh, review from uh, by reading those text file uh, kept at the back at the same time what i have tried to do uh, i have tried to keep a flag that is the command underscore flag dot txt at the back end and our challenge will be for this demo is to you know extract that file and exfiltrate that file from the uh, you know victim network to our network okay through some exfiltration technique which i have al also defined in my ping so i'll recommend you to see that how exfiltration work so in this particular video, it is a double whammy. You will be getting the knowledge of web exploitation. At the same time, you'll be getting the knowledge of red teaming. Okay. So uh, in order to exploit any web applications, uh, there is no better substitute than Bob. So I've already fired my Bob and intercepted the uh, request, as you can see right before you. And when just you just process the request, will just define it will just give you the response in the repeater tab. Okay. If anyone uh, of you having problem to understand the concept of burp then please uh, uh, you know reach out uh, reach to us and we'll be giving you the you know uh, know how of burp as well now while inspecting any 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 application you should understand that what is the backend technology used by the application in this case i have shown you that the server side is saying that is a windows 64 based system where my vulnerable application is running so i'll be focusing more on window level commands now how two commands can be joined in windows i think most of you know but if you don't know then you can see that uh, there are different kind of operator like ampersand operator or or operator which can be utilized uh, to join two commands uh, in linux there are uh, semicolons are there or there are backticks are also there but uh, i'm uh, right now my o intended os to exploit is uh, windows so i'll be focusing on this and the, uh, you can see I'm just demonstrating uh, the different kind of techniques of command uh, conjunction and uh, you know uh, or concatenation uh, like joining how you can join two commands in windows and i'll be using shortly this uh, known knowledge in the uh, vulnerable application also and you can see that how uh, using an or ampersand operator can give you the desired result okay so just <clears throat> you can see uh, now okay sorry the backtick i am wrongly used here because um, okay backtick is not working in um, windows now let's uh, uh, go back to our application and try to use this uh, acquired knowledge i'll be just putting a uh, or key uh, bitwise or key and uh, i'll just try to see whether the date command is can be executed or not now moment i'll uh, fire my request i i expect that uh, date command will uh, give its output to us and it will be accept, uh, accepting that enter new date kind of uh, message to us so uh, that will uh, that will prove uh, that the application is vulnerable see the enter new date mmdd uh, yy okay so this application is vulnerable to uh, command injection now there are different kind of bub plugins are there on one of the famous bub plugin is selling i am not uh, uh, you know showing you my python tool uh, in this particular video i have kept that reserved uh, you just uh, Google about selling in GitHub and you'll find this uh, Bob plugin is very much helpful. So you can send this uh, your, you know, initial for initial level recon, you can send your uh, application for scanning. And if you can, if uh, Bob plugin detects, then it will definitely present you the possible command injections techniques that that can be, you know, used against this application. So you can see in my dashboard, I have already found that uh, uh, you know the bub plugin has already given at the same time you can see that input reflected in the response so that is a another web application vulnerability that is accesses but accesses is not in the scope of this video so i'm just omitting it uh, we'll be more focusing on os command injection now whenever there is an os command injection there are different ways to you know uh, verify it and one of the most uh, you know popular way is by uh, dns exfiltration okay or uh, external interaction now in that case what you can do you can either use the bob collaborator client uh, for exploitation or at the same time you can use some uh, um, you know open source available uh, dns uh, uh, collaborators and you can use their uh, remote url at the same time you can use your own vps running the dns server and uh, you know exploit the server and see whether some kind of interaction is happening or not now i'll be just using uh, dns external interaction so see external interaction is there 
so for in external interactions you can fire your ns lookup command or ping command okay uh, to see whether uh, uh, like uh, the moment i just uh, you know forwarded the request uh, uh, received in bob collaborator client this is the bob collaborator client and you have to just copy the clipboard uh, uh, this will give you the uh, your personal uh, collaborator server and you can copy the copy paste this server in the result of scan and uh, it if any kind of interaction is there then you will get a dns interaction okay you can receive that application is trying to resolve your uh, server uh, your uh, your uh, url okay and in that process you will be uh, receiving the ip of the application okay so i am doing that i am just apply the changes and uh, for, will forward the request and uh, i'll show you the uh, collaborator client as well so that how we will be uh, we, we are going to receive that uh, dns uh, interaction from this application uh, so you can see uh, i have forwarded it and let's poll now and here are our dns interactions and you can see the ip of the vulnerable application the server so in that case uh, if some of this application some of the applications which try to do this kind of thing like the you know there are lots of different kind of applications like the uh, applications uh, which uh, try to interact with external url they can be vulnerable to ssrf as well server side recovery but that's a completely a different topic so i'll be discussing about it in later and later part of our you know web application series uh, now uh, Okay, so DNS interaction is there, but our our motto is not the DNS interaction only. Our motto is to exfiltrate that command underscore flag dot txt file out of the server. Now, what are the ways? Now, one of the popular ways is that you can send or post your uh, command uh, through curl and send it to your Bob Collaborator server. Now, curl minus d, and if I'm just writing command underscore flag dot txt file in inverted comma. So it will try to send the command underscore flag dot txt as a data. Okay, so try to understand. It is not going to send us the uh, content of command underscore flag dot txt. But I am just showing it so that it can give you an idea, and you should not use anything blindly. You should understand that how it happens. Okay, so let's try to put that and forward the request, and you will you'll find that uh, we'll get the HTTP uh, request to our Bob Collaborator server and uh, that will also give you a um, you know uh, give you a hint that how you can exfiltrate in case of blind or out of band injection so this is a also a case of out of band injections now i'll show you uh, see i'm just trying to replace the value of uh, uh, you know that review uh, parameter and i'm just putting curl minus t commander score flux dot txt okay i'll be just okay rest of the things are good so let's post it okay the command underscore flag dot txt you know after the uh, in the bub pro version whenever i try to change certain things then i find it little difficult because the in the earlier version of bub i was i used to find all these things very simple but now you know it's uh, slided uh, i don't know sometimes i just get irritated with this new feature okay now i'll just pull it again and i see we can we have received an http interaction and this http interaction will show you that command underscore flag dot txt as i've told you but it is not showing us the content of command underscore flag dot txt so in order to receive that what you have to do you have to do curl minus d at the rate file name okay so that is the basically command curl underscore uh, curl minus t at the rate file name. In that case, you will be able to exfiltrate the content of command underscore flag dot txt and uh, which I'll be showing again. And uh, see, I have received and, uh, and now you can see uh, you have done it again once again. So I think that uh, you have found our video uh, interesting so far it has given you two takeaway that how you can uh, exploit the system which allows you the arbitrary command injection and what are the ways that uh, command can be you know joined together and what are the ways that are available for a developer to you know thwart this kind of uh, injection at the same time if you are receiving any command injection how can you exfiltrate file from 
the victim server to your server using curl command and how you are going to use the collaborator uh, client of Bob. Okay, at the same time, it also giving you a hint of using selling, which is a very good tool for a basic OS command uh, injection, uh, you know, scanner. At the, so, um, uh, with this, I'll be finishing this video. Have a great time and keep liking us and share our video to your friend. Thank you.